Hello everybody, this is NapaFan here, and this is the finale race in season number two of the HERS Dash series. It's about time I get this thing done for you guys. And here it is, the Street and Smiths 200 at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. 16 laps of action here at the Brickyard to determine the champion in season two of the Interloway HERS Dash series. This was supposed to end before September even began, uh, but here we are, midway through September, and uh, we're just getting to the end of the series. I apologize about all the delays that this series has had. Um, I want to get the other stuff started and all that, and I just did not have the time necessarily to finish out this one, but here we go. We're ready to crown a champion. We're ready to get this one started. I haven't actually recorded a race in this series in like three weeks. It's been a long time, actually. But we are here, and we're going to crown a champion here tonight at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Zach Ryan starts on the pole, but we're going to be focusing on those championship points. Justin Heath comes into this race, the points leader, 211 points towards the championship for him. Cody Sill, however, is only four points behind, and if either of those two drivers win here today, they win the championship as well. Jonathan King, 23 points behind, still has a chance. And Adam Lewis, 29 points behind, still has a chance as well. Everybody else is out of championship contention. A lot simpler of a championship battle this season compared to last season, where we had like half the field. Like I think they had 13 drivers in contention for the championship in the finale race. And we had a tie, and I didn't even get it right at the end. Should be a little bit easier for me to get it right today. We only have four drivers in contention. And for King and Lewis, it's a long shot for those guys. I kind of forgot who's in what car in this series. Um, but hey, I got it all written down anyway, so hopefully I won't screw it up too much. But uh, we're just going to have to see what happens here in the street and Smith's 200. Let's go ahead, get the command for the final race of the season in Season 2 of the Interloway HERS Dash Series. Drivers, start your engines! And a great command there to fire these guys up. Let's get this one started. No more waiting for this one. I tell you, it's been way, way, way too long for these guys. We're ready to get it started. Number 42, Zach Ryan on the pole. Alongside him, it's Luke Rainey. And the last time Luke Rainey was here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, he won quite possibly the biggest race in the end of the way, the Indianapolis 250, and that one is a 100 lap race, with only 16 laps long, but Luke Rainey, definitely a good driver at this racetrack, let me tell you that, he starts alongside Zach Ryan on the front row, Trey Barto, he's won a Chick-fil-A Cup Series race here before, I believe it was season number one, and he is the last winner here in the Hers Dash Series, won at Chicagoland last week, and then number 39, he's not in championship contention, but he could definitely get up there in the points and be top five in the points before the end of the season. We're going to win here today. On one side of Isaac Nichols, I do believe, in the number 48. Row two, Justin Zidell in the number 24. We'll start alongside Derek Hamill in the 17. The 83, that is Jonathan King. And he has a chance at the championship. And if you see back in there, Justin Heath and Cody Sill are kind of deep in the field. So... Jonathan King, he needs to finish ahead of Jonathan, or Justin Heath, I should say, by at least 23 positions. So it's going to be tough for Jonathan King to do so. And it's also going to be tough for Adam Lewis as well, because Lewis starts a little bit deeper than King in this race. Nicholas Samadio starts alongside the 83 there. And there's a 9 of Patrick Smith and the 33 of Eli Bright, rounding out the top 10, starting positions. There is Adam Lewis. 
Leafia starting in the 17th position in the number five, Justin Heath and Cody Sill deep in the field. And these guys need to be careful. So they both crash and they both finish deep in the field for this race. It could give the championship to Jonathan King or maybe even Adam Lewis. Now Adam Lewis is a very long shot, but he still does have a chance. We're just gonna have to find out 16 laps here at Indianapolis. The street and sniffs 200 is green at the Brickyard. The number 39, Trey Barto. He's won twice here before, at least on Napa Fan. He won the IROC race here last year. And Trey Barto pulling out to a significant lead. But look at this, Jonathan King up the third. And let me tell you, if Jonathan King finishes in this top five and Justin Heath and Cody Sill fall back, that number 83 could be the champion. Take a look and see where the championship leaders are. There's Justin Heath. He's currently in that last lap. He was in the 21st position, so right there he's good to go for the championship. Cody Sill, he's only four points behind Justin Heath. He has the best shot at um, knocking that 38 off the top spot. He was 29th that last lap. It's a 16 lap race. Gonna be a good chance for those guys to shuffle positions quite a bit throughout the day. But still, it's kind of short for Indianapolis. Not too many laps in this one, and you might want to try to get up front early on before it's too late. Trey Barto looking strong right now in the 39. Looking to get two in a row here, here in the Hers Dash Series. Won at Chicagoland last week, and theoretically that was like three weeks ago when I recorded that thing. That was ages ago. Um, but still, it was the last race here in this series, and he's going for two in a row. And there goes Jonathan King. The best thing for Jonathan King is, it, uh, is to get the win in this race because that's 35 points towards the championship. Then in that situation, gets those three bonus points. He only needs to finish 20 positions ahead of Je uh, Justin Heath if he were to win the championship. So that's the scenario there for Jonathan King. But right now, got three wide. And three wide at Indianapolis usually does not work out too well. That's Isaac Nichols, Patrick Smith, and Justin Zydell. I think they're going to figure it out, however. And we're going to remain green. But anyways... Justin Heath right now runs in the 17th position and right where he is, he's good to go. He's ahead of Cody Sill and uh, he's too close to Jonathan King for King to surpass him in the point standings even if King wins this race. So it's looking pretty good for the driver of the number 38 and he hasn't even won a race yet this season. So he might win this championship winless in season number two of the HERS Dash Series. It is still the number 39, Trey Barto, leading this field. And, and I honestly think this is one of his best racetracks. I mean, he won the Season 1 Chick-fil-A Cup Series race here, and he won the IROC race here. And, and IROC is some of the best drivers around. And of course, Trey Barto, he is one of the best drivers around. I believe he's a 15-time winner after that win at Chicagoland. I haven't updated that wins list in so long. I, I got to go do that for you guys. Put it up on the website. I, I mean, I'm sorry that I haven't updated the website at all with anything lately uh, but you know it's just been really busy lately Jonathan King he's looking at the inside of Trey Barto trying to get around the 39 there not able to do so quite yet but King might be able to do something here in this Red Bull racing machine Isaac Nichols also closing in in the 48 he's right behind the 83 there and they're all in a single file row at Derek Hamill and the double zero of Nicholas Alexander Roque excuse me not Nicholas Wade Nicholas Wade drives the 99. I don't know how I get those two numbers confused. Double zero and 99. Like, they're literally as far apart from each other as possible. Yet, I still get them confused. I don't know why. Trey Barto still out front. Isaac Nichols got around Jonathan King for second. So now the 48 has his eyes set on the 39 Trey Barto, but nobody 
has been able to unseat this driver, one of the most experienced drivers in the field for this event. Of course, these guys are closing in here. How close they are here in this little pack here, all going single file. Nichols trying to get a run to the inside of the 39, not able to do so. And Jonathan King, he knows he has a chance at the championship here. And the best thing for him is to win the race. But he's going to lose another position as Derek Hamill peeks to the inside for third on the 83. And the number 17 is going to allow everybody behind him, or at least Alexander Rowe, to get to the inside of Jonathan King. And King falling back right now. Zydell, the 11 of Matthew Phillips, Nicholas Samadio, and Zach Ryan all driving by the 83. And, and look at this, Justin Heath, he's right now running in the 14th position. He has only moved up since the start of this race, and that's exactly what Justin Heath wants to do if he wants to win this championship. For Cody Sill, he's still not too far behind the 38, and we're not even halfway through this race yet. And he only needs to finish four positions ahead. Cody Sill has the tiebreaker on Justin Heath. Sill, a winner this season. He won at Watkins Glen. Justin Heath is winless this season. So that's the tiebreaker. And Cody Sill has it on the 38. So he only needs to finish four positions or more higher than the 38 of Justin Heath in this race. But right now he's on the outside lane. And he is not closing in on that 38. Now if the 38 gets stuck in the outside lane, he's not going to lose too much because there's a gap between Patrick Smith, the car behind him, and the next car in line, Luke Rainey. Look at this. A big pack back in here. And has kind of fallen behind from the rest of these guys. And you see them double wide back in here, kind of close to each other. Kind of interesting that they have fallen off from the rest of the field. And this guy definitely hasn't fallen off. Trey Barto has led every lap so far, but Nichols might get it here in the 48. He's going to have some help here from Derek Hamill. And Isaac Nichols trying to dive to the inside of Trey Barto for the lead. Here comes Alexander on the inside, and Nichols is going to take it away in the 48. So Barto finally unseated from the top spot after he led the first half of this race. Now it's Isaac Nichols leading the field in the 48 with Alexander Rowe running in the second position. Now Trey Barto trying to get a run on the outside of Justin Zydell. He's not going to be able to do so. Zydell will get to the inside of him. And, or will he? Barto, great run off the corner. He's going to remain in the third position. I thought Zydell was going to get the run. He did not enter turn three well at all. And in the wall. Almost in the wall. It almost could have been in the wall for the 24. That's his teammate, Nicholas Sam. And he almost ran into him. And don't look now. The number 83 of Jonathan King is back on this inside lane. And he's up to fourth. But the top three have pulled away. Isaac Nichols, Alexander Rowe, and Trey Barto. It's going to take a little bit for this 83 to close in. And Justin Heath, he just moved his way inside the top 10, I do believe. But Justin Zydell, Nicholas Samadio had a major moment right there. That could have been a major accident, but fortunately they kept it together. I apologize getting ahead of myself there, saying that they were going to go into the wall. Nobody touched the wall in that incident. But it very well could have happened. So Isaac Nichols, Alexander Rowe, Trey Barto, Jonathan King, and Zach Ryan, the pole sitter, are the top five right now. And Justin Heath. I honestly think nobody's going to be able to get him at this point, only unless he crashes. He's 10th right now in that 38 machine, and he continues to move his way through the field. So I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue for him at this point. So we're going to focus on the battle for the win, and it's going to be a good one. Let me tell you that. These three drivers are all really good drivers. Alexander Rowe, the least experienced, but he's still a very good driver. Let me tell you that. He's going to try to get to the inside of Isaac Nichols. He's not going to be able to do it quite yet. Trey Barto right behind these guys, and he's been the dominant guy so far in this race. He's going to have a chance at victory later on. Rowe trying to dive to the inside of Nichols. He did not get through the corner well at all, and Barto might try to get around the double zero heading into turn one. He's not going to do so. He's going to wait patiently on the double zero and wait until later on in this race to possibly make his move. Of course, as I say that, he almost gets the run of the inside of Alexander Rowe. He's not able to get alongside him and they remain in their same positions. Got Jonathan King still in the fourth position. Zach Ryan still in fifth, and Justin Heath. He is eighth right now in the 38. And uh, with that run right there for Justin Heath, and considering how Cody Sill did not get out of that second pack that did not, or that lost the draft from the rest of the pack, 
I do not believe Cody Seal's going to have a chance, and I think this one's going to go to Justin Heath in hers Dash Series season number two. It's going to be four laps to go in the Street and Smith's 200 in Indianapolis for Isaac Nichols in the 48. He's got to hold off Alex in a row. And 15-time winner, Trey Barto in the 39. I think he's a 15-time winner. He might be a 14-time. But he's going for number 15 here tonight. And if he can get around this double zero, he might have a chance on the 48 before this thing is done. But Nichols looking strong right now. He's holding off Alexander Rowe. Rowe has not been able to get around him yet. This is still far from over in this race. And uh, even one of these guys back in here might have a chance. Trey Bartow in the 39. I think he was a little loose off of turn three. But it does appear that he is going to keep it together. Alexander Rowe with another run on the 48. He's got a chance to move to the inside right here. That's good news for Bartow because if... Nichols gets stuck in that outside lane. That 39 can close in and take it away from him. At least take the second position away from him. Nichols, however, is going to clear the 39. So Nichols is only going to fall back to second. But Alexander Rowe has taken the lead away with two and a half laps to go here at Indianapolis. Barto for second on the 48. And I think this one's going to be between Barto and Rowe for the win. Or will it? Isaac Nichols getting a great run off of turn three. He's going to remain in the second position. So it's going to be two laps to go for the double zero. Alexander Rowe coming to the line. And he's slightly pulling away from Nichols and the 39 of Trey Bartow. Justin Heath. How about him? Up to sixth in the 38. He started deep in the field for this one. But he's going to get stuck on the outside lane here. You might want to watch for that later on. Number 39 to the inside. That's for second. And Trey Barto going to have his eyes set on the double zero, but it might be too late to catch Alexander Rowe in that Aaron's dream machine. One and a half laps to go on the Street and Smith's 200 at Indianapolis. The final race of the season in the HERS Dash Series. And this 48 still right behind this 39. Now if Barto can get a good run through the corner here, he might have a chance. Not over yet. We're just going to have to see. It's going to be the white flag for Alexander Rowe and the double zero here at Indianapolis. A special place to win at. No doubt. You know this rookie driver is going to want to do it, but Trey Barton wants to get his third career Indianapolis win. Trying to get a good run through turn two on the double zero. He might still have a chance, but I think this double zero might be out ahead by just a little too much. Well, we've seen some crazy things here at the Brickyard before. It might not be over quite yet. Nichols is going to try to get to the inside of Barto. That's going to seal it. Or Barto trying to get a run on the outside here, trying to stay in the second position. It's going to be a battle for second place because the double zero is going to pull away with this one as they battle for second place. That side-by-side -side racing really hurt the 39. And Alexander Rowe and the double zero will win the final race of the season here in the HERS Dash Series. And Justin Heath as a rookie driver, wins the HERS Dash Series Season 2 Championship in the number 38. And you know what? He hasn't even won a race before on Napa Fan, but he's now a champion. How about that for the rookie driver right there of Justin Heath? Gets it done here in Season 2 of the Enter All The Way HERS Dash Series. Seventh place run for him. Plenty enough to secure his championship here at Indianapolis. But Alexander Rowe wins the Street and Smith's 200. And a caution-free race. Glad to see it go caution-free. Did not want to see any crashes, especially in this race because only got 16 laps in it. We have a caution, like a quarter of the race gets taken out because of that, and that's no fun. But Alexander Rowe, the winner, and Justin Heath, your champion in season two of the HERS Dash Series, gets it done here in Indianapolis that 38 team congratulations to him on his first ever championship before he even has gotten a win on Napa fan he gets a championship so how about that for the rookie driver right there Alexander Rowe, Trey Bartow, Isaac Nichols, Zach Ryan and Justin Zydell the top five Patrick Smith your champion Justin Heath, Adam Lewis, Jonathan King and Nicholas Samadio the top 10 Let's take a look at the rest of the results everybody finished on the lead lap we did have that one pack 
Uh, that was quite a ways behind the rest of the field, but I think it kind of all evened out there. You see a lot of guys five seconds uh, down or more uh, from Derek Hamill on down. They did spread out quite a bit in this race, but it was still a great race, especially for Alexander Rowe and Justin Heath, the winner of the race and the champion, respectively. And finally, I got this done for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hers Jazz Series Season number 2 is complete, and Justin Heath is your champion here in 2017. Anyways, we got a lot more going on on my main channel. We got the ARCA Racing Series presented by Krispy Kreme and the Napa Truck Series going on right now, and I hope you guys check those series out. They're just as fun as this one, and uh, got a lot of good racing going on right now. They've already started, and uh, it's going to be good championship battles, just like this series was. Um, in those two series there. And anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I would like to apologize about this uh, taking a while for me to do. Um, you know, I apologize, you know, it took so long, but you know, college and work and all that stuff, you know, it's a little hard to do these, but I found the time to finish this up for you guys. I'm glad I was able to do so. And I think uh, Justin Heath's pretty glad as well. Champion here in the HERS Dash Series, season number two. Thank you guys very much for watching. Congratulations to Alexander Rowe for winning. And congratulations to Justin Heath, your champion for season two of the HERS Dash Series. Here are the final point standings for the HERS Dash Series season number two. And I will see you guys later.